there and play again. So that's something I've been, you know, dealing with. Um, and it wasn't about the fans or coaches or comments made by anybody. It was just a person. Doc, you think Ben Simmons can, can still be a point guard for, for a championship team like the one you guys want to become? Yeah, David, I don't know that question or the answer to that right now. You know, and that organization knew that. So it, it was something that, you know, I, I continue to deal with. And, you know, I'm getting there and getting to the right place to, you know, get back on the floor. When he when they started hacking of Ben and he couldn't come through, it worked, seemed to mentally destroy him. Hey, Ben, there was so much, like, sourced reporting around everything going on with you. So I guess just so you're saying that the, the mental health issue preceded you requesting the trade uh, in the offseason. Okay, I guess can you just shed a little light on the timeline and everything? Yeah, for me, it wasn't – that was never – the mental health has nothing to do with what? just the trade, you know. It was, it was a bunch of things that I was dealing with as a fuck? person in my person. Ben Simmons came across as ill-prepared. He said he had mental health issues, and in the same graph, he said it wasn't really about that I had personal issues. I did a lot of chasing him while, you know, yeah. try to get him back and, you know, try to, you know, make him feel comfortable again. You know, it was time, you know, I, yeah. I didn't care anymore. I mean, if you had pride, then maybe there would be hurt that comes with that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because if I had pride, you know, I'm outspoken, you know, and I'm honest. You know, I could have said, you know, a lot of stuff. Did you speak with Joel? No, I did not.